on this morning. Um, British Conservative Party politician Peter Lilly was an MP when England joined the European Union, the EU. And now he is one of the members championing the country's departure. He voted to, to leave the EU. The UK's formal departure will begin before the month's end and Mr Little sits on the select committee deciding exactly what those negotiations will look like. Uh, all the way from the UK, he joins us now. Um, Peter Peter Lilly, right, Honourable Peter Lilly. Uh, Peter, nice to have you in the, in the country and on the programme. Just tell me, um, firstly, back in London, your office obviously is in Parliament. Have you talked to your staff? Everyone OK? Yeah, I've confirmed my staff are OK, but you realise when grim things like this happen that, that people inside the building are only OK because of the courage of the policemen who are a human de cordon defending us. And mm. it was people outside the building that got mowed down on the bridge just happened to be tourists passing by. This, is, this must have been a real shock as you woke up this morning. Yeah, yes, I didn't expect anything like this, though we've known that we're a natural target for terrorists or lone wolves or whoever it may have been. Westminster hasn't been attacked, has it? I mean, Westminster, I mean, it's been on, it's been on watch, hasn't it? You've done all sorts of exercises, the police, the counter-terrorism police and all sorts of exercises. Uh, probably only a matter of time and today, sadly, is that day. Absolutely. Mm. But they didn't get actually through the cordon of police into uh, attack the building, so they... The out, uh, external defences seem to have been working, but now they're doing a thorough search to make sure that it's not just a lone person, or show that it was mm. a lone person, there's no one else inside the building that's going to continue the attacks. OK, you voted to leave the European Union. How's, um, how's it going? I mean, how's the, how's the process and the plan going? Well, at the moment, we're at the crucial moment. Parliament has overwhelmingly endorsed the Act, giving Prime Minister power to start negotiations. She'll start that process on the 29th of March and then it will all begin. Uh, it's going to be a difficult process. I'm one of those who think that quite possibly we'll end up with no free trade deal with the Europeans. Desirable though it would be to have one, they might well refuse to give us one at the end of the day because they want to make things as difficult for us as possible to try and discourage their voters from voting for Eurosceptic parties. Have you had any regrets about voting to leave the EU? Have you woken up in a cold sweat and thought, what have I done here? No, not at all, actually. I was quite a late uh, convert to leaving, although I've always been a Eurosceptic in the sense of one who wanted to get powers back. I thought we could do that bit by bit from within. And it was only when David Cameron's nego attempt to negotiate a return of powers failed completely, I realised we had to leave, and that was February last year. Mm. What does it mean for New Zealand? So New Zealand obviously wants to keep trading with the world. We have to, as you've noted in your first trip to New Zealand. We're a long way from anywhere. We have to trade our way into wealth, I think it's fair to say. Uh, are we going to get some kind of free trade deal with the UK? Can we upgrade what we have already in terms of our links? Well, I very much hope so. For 43 years, we haven't been able to make our own trade deals. They've all been done by the EU. The EU is very bad at doing trade deals because every single member has a veto, and so such deals as it does have all sorts of exceptions and are very narrow and, and shallow. So could this be now, good for New Zealand? It could be good for New Zealand. It could be good for the UK. It could be good for the world because we need countries like Britain and New Zealand who believe in free trade to give a new impetus to free trade at a time when the Americans are... Uh, becoming somewhat protectionist, at least so in their rhetoric. So do you want to? So does your party want to sit down with the New Zealand government and say, let's do a deal sooner rather than later and get on with it? I believe we do. And indeed, your trade minister was in London for the Commonwealth Trade Ministers meeting last week and saw Liam Fox and others, and I hope uh, was encouraging them to get on and start discussions. I know Liam Fox wants to do that sort of thing. Legally, we can't actually negotiate until the day we leave. Right, but, but we, we can, can get discuss. Into talks, can't we, we can discuss, and uh, if someone were to take it to the European Court and say, "What's the difference between a discussion and a negotiation?" That would go on until we've left, and uh, then the European Court has no power over us anymore. No longer will you acknowledge the European Court. Yeah, absolutely, you can say goodbye. Hey, nice to see you. Enjoy your stay in New Zealand Good as well. Be You're very welcome here. Uh, we